so I'm currently I'm currently in um the slum area um of PR and in the shanty town slum or um oh gosh um disgustingly uh, disgustingly ignored by the government kind of place <clears throat> where um, um, to my reasoning we uh, you know alcoholism is promoted um, expletives are uh, vocabulary of uh, minors um, sexual aggression and rape is um, um, it's a comfortable place um, and you have to operate a very um, secretly you know it's all about you know what's what happens in this house stays in this house and so you just you, you marry your little pedophile old man and he sells your kids type of shit you know, this is normal in Puerto Rico I mean, you read about it in books and shit in, in enlightened, um, progressive, um, cities, but this shit is real. So I'm in this slum and I'm thinking, these people are starving, starved in more ways than one. And how would I, um, how would I, how can I make a book out of this? Because you can't make a book being normal and being kind and being, um, able to process adversity. So, uh, I feel like I'm still, like, all my skills add up to, so I, you open up a not-for-profit, right? You get government funding, and, and I'm talking about federal, because the, in Puerto Rico, you're not going to get shit, because they just, they really, really like to build on the sand here. And watch you starve, and they get off on, on on watching misery transpire. Um. So I would open up a uh, botanica, right? Of uh, um a death garden, because some plants they're toxic, and um. They can kill you, right? They're like uh, poison, poisonous plants. So I would have a garden of poisonous plants, and um, I would read um, spiritual people, like right, like tarot deck, right? Kukala Bruja. You, if you know me in my hometown, they they I'm referred to as um, Pussy the Witch. <laughs> So um, what you do is, um, you, what I could, what I would do is take it to another level. So I would take my psychiatric training, and I would apply it to entertainment, and I could actually fix some people. Um, but I also have, um, and then you, I did um, woodworking, right? So in my personal time for some personal healing, because to recover. From massaging toxic people, you really take on that air energy, and it can literally, from spirit to emotional, affect your um, financial, but your physical body can potentially break because you're adopting. Um, I would be adopting their energy. I would be touching them, you know, in some kind of way. And and I'm not talking about. Um, hand jobs and, and blow jobs and opening up a broth <laughs> so um then so what you would do is so there's all kinds of stuff that you can build you can build um equipment that is for um magical purposes and you could build instruments and you could build um furniture um to compensate for the use of your hands um, and the and to release really to give it back without causing harm to not cause harm you have 
well, this is why people put their energies into, um, say, um, artifacts as opposed to more savage things where uh, you would put your um, energy in, you would use an animal for that kind of a sacrifice. So another thing that the, um, that this place could offer is the, is the hot food. But the thing is that they don't want you feeding people because there's so many people starving, miserable, and just opportunists here that everybody would line up and there's just not enough. Um, they won't, you're not going to get that kind of a, that kind of funding um, to do any, um, any sort of significant impact um, within a, a, a negative, abnormal, uh, mean um criminal um slum um by using kindness um so what you do is you hide right now you don't hide like you can't open up a buffet you know what i mean like in um in new york they have shelters and they have food kitchens so it, it would be mixing the um the witches um the witch um store which uh with a with a, a, a what's it called a soup kitchen and that's what i would do um it would be like a crafts a botanica that offers food to individuals now that'd be great if you could um get free funding for that right but um but that's really not likely because they're very, they're really bent on just, um, just uh, aggravating the pancreas here. But, but there is, there is a potential for Harriet Tubman type of um, military action here um, by, a, by a civilian, but you would have to be, you know not um, stigmatized.